This week, the community is paying their respects to Linda Vanderveer, who died Thursday from cancer. News Channel 15's Kai Tor Pessoa met with her loved ones today. He's in Studio 15 with how people are remembering her. Jerry Vanderveer says the passing of his wife Linda is more of a celebration. He says he's proud of the inspiring life she lived and knows she's in a better place. Linda Vanderveer was a great advocate for police and firefighters, a caretaker of Allen County's Law Enforcement Firefighters Memorial, a highly recognized woman of service. She passed away Thursday at the age of 67. Today we're celebrating her ascension into uh, heaven to be with the Lord. Her husband and best friend Jerry assured everybody who came to support his family that this was not a time of sorrow. We're not letting her go uh, just a... Uh, a person that had cancer, all oh, shake your head and say, oh, poor girl, this is going to mean something. Linda's passing to liver cancer is inspiring people to get colonoscopies. Jerry says if Linda had gotten one 10 years ago, she'd still be with us today. God, get those colonoscopies, and that's, God, that sounds awful to be talking about that, but God, if we can save your life, God, why wouldn't you want to do it? People gathered to remember some of the lessons she taught them. Linda's sister, Vima, learned to keep living life fully, even into old age. You don't wait for tomorrow. If you have an experience to do, you go right in and jump in with both feet and, and just enjoy life. Retired Fort Wayne police officer Karen Allen was inspired by Linda and Jerry's endless selflessness. As long as I've known them, it's all about giving back and paying it forward. Um, and that's what makes them so special. Jerry says his partnership with Linda was one of a kind. She's, you know, the love of my life. I mean, we have a love story that people just dream about. Probably nobody ever attains, maybe very few do. It's just uh, something that we've had. It's something that we learned to do together. Linda's funeral will be tomorrow morning at 10 at First Assembly Church on Washington Center Road. Following the service, there will be a full police and fire procession from the church to the police and fire memorial on Well Street. In Studio 15, Kaito Pessoa, News Channel 15.